it hit me of what's wrong with this picture. Hello everybody, P Brain here. I got inspired to do a video. I'd been um, discussing on my couple of my videos about this notion that the uh, sun would never make it to the horizon and I had a couple people show me diagrams and I hadn't come up with a really good illustration to completely debunk this idea until now. So that's why I got inspired to do this video. Uh, yeah, first of all, let me just say I don't know how high the sun is, uh, so I'll just go with the 3,000 miles that uh, many flat earthers use, and that's what I'm going to use for this video. This guy sent me this picture, and he's got all the maths included, and it looks good, you know. At first, I had a little tough time with it because there's a couple things true about it, right? It's showing the sun traversing over the ground, over the flat earth, and it's parallel to the ground. So it had that going for it. And it's showing that when the sun is further away from you, it angles down, just like perspective. Same as this guy, Daz the cameraman or something is his name. He has a video out and he shows this picture. And it's the same thing. It still shows a parallel sun to the ground. And the, instead of moving the sun, he's moving the observer. But it's the same diagram. If you flip it upside down, it looks identical. Anyway, so it's the same notion. So I was a little bit perplexed. I was like, hmm. Wait a second, you know, makes you start to doubt. But I mean, I know it's wrong, but I was like, wait a minute, it's got perspective. It's so I thought. And then it hit me. What's wrong with this picture? What's wrong with this picture is that they are attempting to calculate visual angles to the sun from a non-visual, non-perspective drawing. So the drawing is not taking the visual perspective of the observer into account. And that's what's wrong with this diagram. You see, you cannot calculate visual angles to convergent positions which is where the sun is from the observer, by using non-convergent parallel lines, which is what they're doing in the diagram here. They have two parallel lines, and they're drawing visual angles to it. It's true that this drawing is an accurate representation of actual relationships and positions of the observer to the sun, but it's a non-perspective side view representation. So this diagram is not accurate at all as it relates to the perspective of the observer. So if we add perspective lines, we get a completely different picture. All right, take a look at this wall of lines. Now, this wall is not an illustration. It's not a cartoon. It's a photo. It's reality. Okay, this that they put up here, although it has a lot of truth, you know, in it, showing the parallel sun and all that, it's nothing but some geometry. I mean, they're showing us some angles, but it has nothing to do with perspective and how we would see the sun. So it's bunk. So in this next slide here, I'm going to superimpose these lines, the perspective lines, over on top of this. OK, here we go. All right, and as you can see, the way they're representing the sun as staying parallel to the ground is not correct. The sun would follow these perspective lines. And what they really are is spatial planes, right? They're invisible spatial planes that are around your z-axis. Now your z-axis goes from your eyes, a straight line out from your eye in any direction. Okay, that's your z-axis. So anything parallel to that will start to converge toward that focal point or the horizon, right? In line with that z-axis. Everything does. Any lines going away from you are going to all converge. Yet this diagram that they show us um, saying that this is, these are the visual angles to the sun, have no convergence. The lines are parallel. So you look at these parallel lines, and look how they converge. They completely go against this geometric drawing, or these angles, and these, these formulas. They don't work, friends. So anytime someone brings this up, bring them to this video, show them this picture, and this is the reality. The photograph is a reality. That's how we see everything. So this representing the sun is going away from you parallel to the ground. And then calculating your angles to the sun based on that is wrong, and it doesn't work. Okay, and quickly notice with this line of converging parallel lines or planes. Notice how the higher up they get, 
or the further away they get from the yellow line, which is your z-axis, notice how they orient themselves more and more vertically and less horizontally. Also notice how all the lines converge at the same point, the vanishing point. It doesn't matter how high they are, they all go to the same place, which, interestingly enough, means that no matter how high that object is going away from you, it visually goes to the same place. Okay, here's the wall of lines again. Notice that these are true perspective lines. These are parallel lines, but from the observer, which is this little guy down here, this is what these parallel planes or parallel lines would look like. They just happen to be represented by these wooden planks, right? But that's actual perspective. Uh, what they represent as the sun up here traveling parallel to the ground is not perspective, yet they are calculating angles based on a non perspective drawing, right? Their maths are based on non-perspective lines, right? Two parallel lines. Well, you can't because that's not the perspective of the observer. The observer sees these lines, the uh, converging lines. So as you can see, this is the reality, the one here where the, the sun travels down, the green suns here traveling down, that's our reality. Now here's another interesting thing. The reason too that their sun will never reach the horizon in their calculations is notice this these these spatial planes as i call them represent height or altitude right look at their sun it's it's crossing height lines right because each one of these lines is a is parallel to the ground even though they appear to be converging and yet they represent different altitudes so look at their sun it's traveling higher and higher and higher and higher and higher in the sky well, of course it's not going to, you know, this is why they think that the sun would be visible 24-7 on a flat earth and why the sun would never get to the uh, horizon. They don't understand perspective. They just, they don't get it or, or something, I don't know. But anyway, you can see the proper use and this has to, everything to do with the observer standing down here. This is what he sees. The sun following the convergence lines and coming down. And these are both the exact same distance. Um, and you can see the time stamps on them. So each time, each sun is about a thousand mile journey, it's traveling, and it goes below the horizon visually and keeps going below the horizon from the observer. And like I said, this is a photograph. This is real. This is reality. They've just showed us nothing but a bunch of angles, showed a couple lines and drawing some angles. Oh, hey, hey, fellas, nice geometry, but it's not perspective. That is definitely not the perspective of the observer, and that's what counts. Debunk 100%. Their maths don't work. Their calculations are wrong. The sun will, in fact, set on a flat earth from the perspective of the observer. All right, thank you so much. Bye.